So, um, I'm just preparing um, the rest of my evening meal. I'm going to use the, the other half of the salmon I made yesterday with cranberries and I'm trying to find some other the things to go with it that I think will complement it. So I've decided to have a go at making a celeriac, uh, shallot and uh, garlic apple mash. So that's just uh, cooking slowly there. Uh, a stick of celery and a large shallot, shallot with some garlic and a bit of um, chilli garlic salt. And the mash is just uh, coming up to boil there. And as you see, I've actually popped in uh, another shallot there just to help flavour it. So um, I'm going to have this on a fairly low heat. And I'm going to add some of the stock, uh, sorry, the juice from the veg there. Just a little bit. A couple of ladles. And I'm going to uh, crush in this um, vegetable block so cute. So as you can see, I've added um, a cooking apple, a small one actually, they're off a uh, French tree. And I'm going to, that's on quite low now, and that's just going to simmer down until the apples have softened. And then that will go with the celeriac mash later. So um, it's nearly done. I've just turned the heat up a little bit to try and reduce the water down. There we go. And I've tasted it. And I felt it needed some thyme, so I've just added a teaspoon of dried thyme in. And that's just going to uh, reduce down a little bit. And then I'm going to pop that into the food processor and whiz it up. So, as you can see, um, the apple, celery and onion mix has been blitzed. Not too smooth. And that's going in here uh, with this cooked celeriac, tablespoon of horseradish sauce, which I'll have to point, and a teaspoon of Coleman's mustard powder. So that's in. We'll just get the rest of that in a moment. Let's set it to one side. There we go. So I'm just going to get going to get the mash out and give it a good bash bash around in the sauce. Okay, so this is quite rustic, a bit rough and ready, but that's what I want. Um, you could, if you wanted to, add parsnips to this or cooked potato. You could, you know, just use the flavours that you really like. So I'm using the flavours I adore in this. So I'm just going to pop that into a dish. Now, you could pipe it, you know, make some little noisettes and uh, bake it in the oven. That would be awesome. Um, but um, I'm going to pop mine into a dish. There's enough here for two or three people. So uh, I'll get on with it then. So there you go, all in my dish. And for a bit of fun and decoration, I've put on some um, juniper berries. No other reason than the fact I think it makes it look pretty. No idea what it's going to taste like either. <laughs> um, they're just for uh, aesthetics. A bit more chilli garlic salt on top. So that will go in the oven at 180-ish um, for around about 20 minutes and maybe a bit higher to brown off the top if it needs Okay, it. I'm so excited. I've had some fresh thyme in the fridge. So I've just had to show you. A bit of fresh thyme on top before it goes in the oven. How pretty does that look? Scrumptious. Wow we! I think this mash is an absolute stunner. My mouth is watering just looking at it. It's just coming out of the oven. And I did cook it for around about 35 40 minutes. And honestly, my mouth is watering. I can't wait to eat it. Absolutely delicious. How pretty would that look on a Christmas table? Fantastic.